Hey YouTube world, this is Marvin with Better Way to Connect TV. I am back with the Channel Master DVR Plus. Uh, I just received this in the mail yesterday and this is an unboxing of this device. It is a vid uh, digital video recorder, okay, a DVR. Uh, this is one of the good ones, guys. Uh, it's I got it from Amazon. It's three hundred and twenty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cent. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of money. It's a little bit of money. Um, but you can see the see the reviews on this. I'm gonna blow it up here. The reviews. It is one hundred and eighty-one customer reviews. Um, five, four and a half out of five stars. So you can take it pause this and read it or just find it on the website like I said amazon.com check it out DVR channel master DVR plus uh, this right here is a bundle that I picked up um, I would also advise you guys to go and check out the channel master channelmaster.com they have the actual well I think this is a different model because on here the description says that the that this is a one terabyte um, uh, well, this device right here has the actual hard drive, um, in you know, included. So it's built in, in other words. Um, so this is the Channel Master DVR Plus one terabyte. Uh, they got two models on here, um, a sixteen and a one terabyte. So you can check that out. Go to www.channelmaster.com and check out there. They have a really, a really nice uh, website, and um, these guys are pretty much, pretty much, uh, they're well put together. They have their thing together. They got the, they already have the antennas there for you to choose from. Um, but you know, like I always say, you have to you, you just go with what you know, um, or just try one. You know, with the best reviews, see what people are saying about it. Uh, but this right here is the unboxing of the Channel Master DVR Plus. This is the bundle that I picked up. I just got it in the mail yesterday, and I'm really excited about it. Um, 300 at the time of this recording, for the model that I have, or I shouldn't say the model, but for the bundle that I have, is $329.99. Um, this is the one, this gives you a free uh, television guide, okay? Gives you a free television guide. Let's see what all comes in the box. Okay, so all right, so they gave me an HDMI cable. Looked like it's a uh, nine foot cable too. Pretty cool. Free HDMI cable. And okay, so this is the uh, wireless USB adapter. But I'm going to connect it hardwire. I'm not even going to use this. Um, but it's okay for some of you, you know, for some of you out there who want to use the, you know, the Wi-Fi. That's that's good. To go. Some, I mean, sometimes you don't have a choice. Sometimes you have to use the Wi-Fi. There's nothing wrong. Just, I don't have anything against why using Wi-Fi, guys. I, I don't want you to think that I, you know, I, I do. Um, if it's if it's a choice, if you do have the choice, I would always say plug it up. You know, go hardwire over Wi-Fi. Um, it's just a you know better signal. And uh, faster transfer rates. Okay, so this is the actual. Wow. So this is it right here. Let me, the box. Take it out of the box here. It looks nice too. Put that to the side. Yeah, that looks nice. The box is really nice. Channel master. Okay, so this is my handy dandy steak knife. Okay, so here is what's in the actual box. You got the device itself. It's pretty, wow, this is nice. Look how thin it is. This is really nice. They got it nice and packed up. Let me open it up for you guys. Yeah, this is a real unboxing, guys. 
This is this is one I, I haven't opened up first. I usually open up the products first and then and then do the unboxing. But now nah, this is a real unboxing right here. So look at that, man. That is nice. Look at that. So you got your your infrared sensor in the front for your remote. You got your power button. It's a really really thin device. I can't wait to get it uh, to work. So it seems like you got some uh, breathing vents underneath, okay? Okay, so what do we have? We have the uh, RF connector. We got the optical, optical out. I guess this is the optical in, out or in. Or, that's really weird. I've never seen one like that before, optical. You got your HDMI cable, ethernet, two USB ports, and then your power, and then your IR blaster your your IR controller what well, I guess this is meant to for you can control your receiver or any other any other devices that you may have like a DVR or D, a DVD player or something like something like that excuse me that's nice I'm gonna place that right here okay Here's the power brick that goes with it, guys. This is the power brick. Okay, so this is a 12 volt power brick. Looks to be 12 volt, yeah. Is it 12 volt? Yeah, 12 volt. What else did we get in here? We got your your um, channel master guy, your user guide information and then they give you a really nice uh, streamlined remote okay so check out the streamlined remote they got me to give you okay so this is pretty nice Really nice remote. Is there anything else in the box that they give you? Yes. Nope. That's it, guys. So that's all you get in the box. You get your remote, the DVR itself, and this is metal too. This is metal, guys. My hands are kind of greasy. You can always see. You can already see the uh, fingerprints on it. But no, nah, it feels good. It's really stable, really, really, really sturdy, sturdy piece of equipment. This is not, and it's, and it's heavy too. It's got a good heft to it. It's got a good heft to it. I can, I can definitely see this is going to be, wow. And then you got your um, really nice nine foot uh, HDMI cable. Okay. Your wireless USB adapter. So apparently. In this bundle, the wireless USB, you know, you get this in the wireless USB adapter. And it's actually from Channel Master itself. So, um, this is included with the bundle that I purchased, okay? Um, and then this is the, um, the IR blaster or IR remote, you know, remote controller. So you can control other devices uh, or control your, your, um, probably your, your 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 receiver with this bad boy okay so um, what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug this up and I'm, I'm gonna get this thing running for you I'm gonna probably do a couple of days of it get a, t a couple of days of use out of it and play with it a good bit and then I'll come back for the final the final review um, this is gonna be one of those this is gonna be a nice one right here guys it's gonna be a good one so we'll, I'll plug this up and see what we get. Hey, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, thanks for uh, you know all the all the the, the the comments, the good comments and stuff that I've been getting. Um, it, like I said before, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, give me an email, or uh, shoot me something down in the comments below. Uh, until next time, stay tuned. Thanks again. Hey, and I'm back, guys. It's been about a week since uh, the unboxing. 
Uh, first, let me apologize for my voice. Uh, I kind of got a little sick over the weekend, and so my voice, I lost it a little bit. Um, you, I apologize for the cracking and, and a little slight cough that you may hear. Um, but on to the review. So, as you can see, I got my Channel Master DVR Plus set up on my, my dresser here. And I already have my, uh, my plasma already set to go. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how streamlined it is. Okay. Okay, right beside it, I have my 500 gigabyte hard drive. And then, of course, the Channel Master DVR Plus. And then my PS3. Nothing else on the dresser top. And it just looks really, really smooth. Now, uh, I get extra points for my wife because it looks so sleek and, and, and narrow. You know, it's clean. So, uh, yeah, I get good points with the wife. Uh, if, if anybody's out there uh, on, the, on, the, you know, on the threshold of, get, uh, of getting this device, uh, definitely it's a, it's a wife approved. So, uh, you got that going. That's a plus right there in the, in the, in the uh, wind column. Uh, just a little tidbit, guys, a little note, that, a little side note that I want to let you know about. Uh, the plugs in the back, they're very sensitive. Uh, it, it could just be my unit, um, but I know I, I, when I was, uh, when I had it, you know, I was pl plugging it up to the TV. It was, I could see the picture going in and out just from me jiggling it just a little bit. They're not loose. They're very, they're, they're very nice and snug and tight, but that's just something that I ran into when, um, when I was con connecting it to the TV. But as you can see, it's just uh, really nice and clean. I don't have no problems whatsoever. Okay, no problems. Uh, this is a good. This is a, this is a good device. Also, what came with it was the Wi-Fi adapter. Um, I didn't need the Wi-Fi adapter or the um, the you know the IR blaster. Because like it's just a you know I'm, I'm just using this is my master bedroom I'm just using it I don't have a entertainment center to, to to throw this in it's just sitting on my dresser so I didn't need those other devices but it was cool it's cool for you know someone else if they're deciding you know they want to get like uh, a, I would say a hub or a centerpiece for the entertainment center uh, this device will do that for you. So um, you don't have to, I, and I, I like the way that things are going now. Uh, it used to be everything was centered around your receiver. Your receiver was the, you know, the end all to be all to your, your entertainment center. So, but today you don't have to have that giant setup anymore. Uh, they got sound bars and wireless subwoofers that sound just as good as a 5.1 surround sound. And, um, and your television now can be the hub, you know your your dvr this channel master dvr can be the hub of everything that you have um, if you have a home media pc that can be the hub of everything that you have so you know like i said it's 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 a it's a all-in-one device if you need it to be uh if someone is interested in, in purchasing this this would be something good for them if they're change, uh, thinking about cutting the cord and they need something to uh to switch over like i said um this guy is just amazing um, something that's that that uh, you know, I think I like this guy better than the TiVo guy, and I'm tell you a reason why. You still get to see the entire the entire. Show. I just like the layout of it, I guess, the design of it. Um, the TiVo, I like that too, but it you know, like I said, when you hit the guide on the TiVo, it throws your channel, whatever you were currently watching, up to the right into a little small little window. Which, you know, it kind of, you, you kind of forget about it after a while. But this right here, you still get to see what you, what you, you know, what you were looking at. And, and you also get a chance to browse the, uh, the guy and, and actually see what's going on in the guy. Okay. So, like you say, it's, I guess it's based on your, your, you know, your preference, what you like. Uh, for me, I kind of like this better. I, I just like the overall flow. I like how it's uh, opaque a little bit. You know, you can see through it. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a really neat design. I like that. Now, as far as um, setting this device up, I was thinking about maybe should I, you know, erase this entire device and set it up from scratch and let you guys see it. But this device had three major uh, software uh, updates to it. 
uh, well, after I took it out of the box and connected it to my home network. It had three really huge major software updates that I did not want to go, go back through again. So that's the reason why I didn't want to, go, you know, that's the reason why I chose not to do a, a full setup so you guys can see it. Uh, basically, the, the very first thing this box tells you to do when you, when you, when you plug it up um, and you turn it on, it does a scan for your, your, um, your channels. And then it'll ask you, you, you know, it'll ask you where you live. No, well, you know, you have to put in your zip code and your, your um, what time zone you're in. Other than that, I mean, it, it does everything else itself. Um, now, the updates, the software updates that I was telling you about, they're pretty, uh, they're pretty, pretty extensive. Uh, each software update took about, I would say, 30 to 45 minutes. So, uh, once you take this out, it's going to automatically and connect it to the to the network. It's going to automatically. Uh, do a, a, a test and then it's going to automatically go through your software update. All you have to do is confirm it. Uh, you didn't and didn't set back. Um, but I thought that was kind of, I don't know. I, I you know, I, I guess they're staying on top of their, you know, that they're, they're, they're staying on top of their devices and stuff and making sure that your device has its most current firmware. Um, but like I said, I don't know how long my device was sitting on the shelf before I got to it. Um, but you know, like I said, again, it had to take these very long, extensive software updates or firmware updates that, you know, I was like, wow, let me go and do something else at the time while this thing was was uh, was doing this thing. Also, something that is very interesting about uh, the Channel Master DVR, which I don't know if they state this on their website, but I didn't know anything about it. OK, so when I first plugged this up, all I was able to receive was the over the air channels that I got. Um, but Channel Master, they actually include internet channels. So I don't know, I don't remember reading anything about this on their website. This was something totally surprised, uh, you know, it surprised me. Uh, but I did not receive those internet channels until after my firmware update. So your device will have to do, will, will have to do a complete firmware update before you will be able to see those channels. Again, like I said, when I took this out of the box, the very first thing it told me to do was do a scan. I confirmed that and then it ran through the scan. And so, you know, after that, we, we, were, we were good to go. I didn't have any more problems. Um, well, I didn't have any problems in the first place since then. Uh, but, um, you know, we did the, did the scan and it found all my channels and it immediately gave me the guide. So no issues whatsoever. But I did not get those free internet channels until after I, um, and let me show you what I'm talking about. The free internet channels. Okay, so, um, now this is not a streaming device, okay? Uh, as you can see right here, I hope you, can, hope you guys can see it. It's uh, the very start of the internet channels. It starts at nine, uh, 900, 600, 600, and, no, I don't think it starts there. Uh, I think it starts in the files, but these are all the internet TV channels that uh, Channel Master provides for you for free. After your device does the firmware update. I think this is something that they added on after the fact. Now, I, it's, it's cool, you know, that they give this to you. Uh, let me show you the quality of one of the channels. It's pretty cool. They even give you some news, um, some news channels in here too. I think, uh, was it ABC or CBS? I believe CBS was one of the channels that, uh, that it gave you. Uh, you got, oh, ABC. Okay. So let me click on ABC here and show you what, what it looks like. This is, this is not through the over the air. ABC. This is through Channel Masters uh, servers. This is uh, through the internet, and this is a trailer of uh, Star Wars here. So yeah, I mean it's good quality. Now the thing about their channels is kind of strange. Okay, so it doesn't just go right into the high 1080p quality of uh, the channel. It takes a second. It take well. It takes more than a second. It takes a little while before this device can sense your internet speed. I, I should say, 
Uh, sometimes you'll see the channels where they will start over again. They'll start over again. It's a buffer and then it'll start over again. So um, it's a little frustrating, uh, but I had to get used to it. I didn't know what was going on. I thought it was, I thought that the device was either malfunctioning or maybe there was something wrong with the, the, the internet channels. But no, nah, that's just how the device works. It basically buffers. It'll sense your internet speed and then it'll buffer to that internet speed. It just doesn't do it fast. You know, like the TiVo does everything super, super fast. This device does not do that. This device is kind of slow. You got to wait on a little bit. But all in all, I still say that it's a, uh, it's a win. It's a, it's a win device because uh, like I said, you do not have to pay for the, uh, the, the television guys, you know, the television guy, you don't have to pay for it. There's not a subscription for it. You just pay for this device, $329 off the bat, boom, and you're done. So if anybody's cutting the cord and they want a stable DVR with the television guy, Channel Master DVR is a, is a good go for you. It's a good go. Okay, this is an outdoor cooking channel that they offer. Um, and this is, again, off. And this is, a, I would say these are internet channels. These are, I wouldn't say that they're live, actual live television streams. I say they're internet channel. Uh, they must have something worked out with ABC, though. Because that was a, a direct stream off of ABC. And this is their Vivo kind of like uh, MTV back in the day and all it plays is just uh, music videos all, all the time so yeah this this device comparing it to TiVo in my opinion I think the TiVo wins a little bit well the, and the reason why I say that is because this device is not a streaming device it does it doesn't give you streaming apps on here well, let me let me take that back. It does give you streaming apps. These are the only ones it give you. Okay, guys, Sling TV just popped up. This is something totally new. I did not see this until it must have did this. Um, as a matter of fact, last night as I was watching this, it did another uh, another uh, firmware update, and I did not see Sling TV until now. So that's really cool. YouTube, Pandora, and Vudu. Those are the only streaming apps that you that you get with uh, with Channel Master, and that's why I say the TiVo kind of beats this out because it gives you uh, your Amazon Prime, it gives you Netflix, it gives you all those other things. But I have a I have a, a PS3 right beside it, so you know what Channel Master doesn't give me, I get through my PS3. So it's 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 still not a loss for me. Um, but comparing this device to the TiVo, I say the TiVo wins because it gives you so many other apps that, you know, that, that are able or that you are capable of streaming, uh, content from. So, but I, I guess, you know, it's, it's up to you guys. You know, some of you may look at this and say, Hey, this, that's enough for me. Uh, they plus, they, you know, they got their free, uh, internet channels, um, and then plus whatever you get over the air. So this is a solid, stable DVR. Uh, if you get a 500 gigabyte or more uh, external hard drive to go with it, I can't see anything going wrong with this device, guys. It is definitely a win. I have to say that it is a win. So my, you know, my conclusion is. Uh, yes, it's a it's a solid device, and if you're thinking about buying it, I say yes. You won't you won't regret it whatsoever. Uh, I haven't regretted it. Uh, it's very simple and easy. Anyone in my family can pick up the remote and and just turn to whatever they want to see. Um, it's very simple. If you're coming from satellite or cable, and you uh, you know you want to cut the cable, this I would say is the way to go. It's a little expensive. But look at it in the long run. Look how much money you're saving. Some of us out there were paying $160, somewhere $180 a month for cable or satellite. Um, you know, if you buy this, this is like two months, two or three months of 
you know, cable or satellite service, and then you're done. You, you, you are completely done. You don't have to pay any more fees to anyone. Um, unless you have, you know, your Netflix, you know, or, or Hulu or something like that. But um, if you completely want to cut the cable, I would say this device is good for you. And all you need is just your high speed internet. This device is good for you. You can you can definitely cut back. I know um, for us out here in California, Cox Communications, this is the, they service the area where I live. They have a bundle where they give you telephone, high speed internet, and video. And um, people save a ton of money when they cancel the telephone and the video service. And all they do is they just keep the high speed internet. Uh, so you know, like I said again you cannot go wrong with this device if you cancel your video cancel your phone service now some of you just have to have a hard line at the house I you know what I have a hard line in the house I actually have the uh, the UMA the UMA uh, telephone system it's, it's, it's actually as it's IP it's voice over IP it's just like Vonage but the it's it's a one-time purchase and then after that, all you get charged is this taxes on those lines. Uh, how many, however many lines that you have. I have a phone line through UMA, and they charge me like two, three dollars a month for taxes. I guess uh, the FCC, you know, imposes surcharges or taxes on them, and so they just transfer that over to us, the customer. But yeah, that's how much I pay for my home line. It's about it, it fluctuates. It goes from sometimes two dollars and then it goes up to three dollars and something but it's never gone past that um, and it's called the UMA you can pick it up at Best Buy check it out it's a it's a good device um, so some of you know you know if you have to have a hard line that's fine uh, I guess everybody have their own different preferences but yeah this is just one way to help ease your wallet you know you buy this device it pays for itself within two months and then you're done you get a free TV guide, a complete TV guide, and um, the shows that records is is right on time. So um, I just want to say thank you guys for paying attention, stand you know stay tuned to my channel. As always, if you have any questions, contact me and uh, you know throw some comments up there. For some of you who've already purchased this, uh, this you know purchase this device, go ahead and throw some comments down in the uh, I mean you know in the comment section. And, you know, let me know what, you know, how, how your experience has been. Um, until next time, take care, everybody, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.